OK, let's stay with this story. We're going to talk now to Pemba Sherpa, who'd been working as a Sherpa in the Himalayas before he moved to Colorado. Just before we came on air, I asked him about the balance of risk and reward for Sherpas doing what is very, very dangerous work. There is the opportunity of money to be made when you're hired as a Sherpa on Everest. But at the same time, um, the unfortunate thing is there is no such life insurance that has a larger amount as people in the first world country gets. I wish the climbers that are coming from abroad um, and the companies that hires uh, the Nepalese and the Sherpas, um, our Sherpa guides in Nepal would be insured um, by the clients that comes from abroad with better benefits. When you talk about that relationship between the Sherpas and the clients, I mean, one remembers last year there, there was a story that highlighted how sometimes that relationship can deteriorate quite quickly. If somebody just turns up and it's on their checklist of things to do to climb Everest, how difficult or how positive is the relationship between Sherpas and climbers? It is very, very important to have a best relationship between Sherpas and the climbers. And obvious uh, reasons are because the Sherpas will go ahead make sure the paths are safe, make sure the crevices are not dangered, make sure the ladders are put correctly, make sure the ropes are fixed correctly. They test their life ahead of other climbers coming from abroad. So yes, it is very, very important to respect the Sherpas who are giving up their life, heart and soul for the, again, for the achievement of someone who wants to be on the top of Everest. You're talking to us from Colorado. You've changed your job. You've relocated. When you were taking yes. that decision, were the risks part of your thinking? Yes, it, it's um, and whenever every every opportunity that is better than what you have, uh, we all human tend to take that better opportunity, and that's exactly what I did. 3,000 people, which is a huge number, 3,000 people have climbed Everest since 1953. Has the time now come for Everest to be reframed for a degree of honesty on the part of the companies, the climbers, and indeed the Sherpas, just to say, actually, Everest is a commercial proposition and we've got to apply rules and regulations that go with that? The government of Nepal first needs to make sure there is a proper rules. And not only that government of Nepal, but the people and the commercial expeditions that are coming abroad from abroad also needs to make sure that they're not risking not only their life, but they're also making sure that they, they should also make sure that they don't risk the people that works for them. And the regulations in the first place, I think uh, safety research of avalanches and crevices that are done by the government or by the, the com climbing commercial communities who are actively looking forward to go back year after year should come up with some sort of solutions um, on safety, safety uh, precaution wise. Pemba Sherpa talking to us there uh, from Colorado.